Hey Internet, my name is Evi and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program on Wings. In the last episode we did our Minmus flyby and we also um, brought our serious spacecraft, the spacecraft that is going up to Joule um, into an orbit around the Sun and we transmitted back some data. So let me just check out, we have now 246 signs. Can I unlock anything? No, it's 300 signs. The cheapest thing is 300 signs. So let me just have a quick check. I could have for 550 signs the main engines, um, the main sails, or some more advanced station building parts. At least the senior, the Clempotron senior docking port would be also quite cool. Um, the other docking parts, were, um, well, the large girder could be nice, but not so much. Um, wing connector, some more advanced aerodynamics, maybe, but not so much. Oh, the new engine, so I could improve my so I could improve my my uh, space or not space, but my airplane to to have much more power. This would be interesting. Um, probe bodies, not so much. Um, iron propulsion, maybe, but um, meh, why don't know. Oh, the rover wheels. To build my my rover thing, my my rover transporter, or well, charge and another probe body. Not so sure. So the decision would be mainly between the main sail, the senior docking port or more powerful engines. Huh. This would be hard, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what I will choose. Um, today we have uh, another task to do because I can't unlock anything, but I've uh, prepared something. Let's see. Uh, where are you? The Polar One. Yes, the Polar One I've prepared. Let's launch the thing. Be course. Be course. As soon as it finished, and show me. There we are. There we are. Okay. Basically, it's the the normal launch stage, but I've added here on top a satellite, and the satellite is equipped with eight um, Gravimax negative negative gravioli detector. And this is meaning I like to, as it called, the polar one. I like to uh, launch it into a polar orbit, and it should um, orbit around Kerbin and uh, get at least eight different biomes. And as soon as it has assembled eight different biomes, and I think one biome was about 20 signs or so, I will use a tiny little engine to deorbit it. I've added also two to our parachutes have also added er uh, yes there's the battery okay um so yeah i have a little satellite now i have also a use for a satellite because in one episode i was talking about that there's no use for a satellite to launch it right now i found a use and so i have a small little satellite that will get some um, gravity data about the earth and we now want to launch this thing up into space and in three two one and lift off. Here we go again with our um, with our first satellite launch. Yes, the first satellite launch in this Let's Play series. I'm really proud of it that I found a good use after we had our Minus flyby last episode and we get there some good da uh, data about our carbon as well. And now I want to, to use this little satellite to gather this data or to gather some more data. And I think the best way to do this is to in our polar orbit because though I get also the poles of Kerbin and because um, Kerbin is rotating underneath me, I'm hopefully getting also a lot of different biomes um, so I can use all of my um, A tools I've mounted to it. Maybe I should have even mounted more of them, but I think I can easily launch a second satellite if I need to. And then it would be maybe called Polar 2 also. So yeah, um, great things, great things, great technology and great things. Um, the thing is accelerating nicely, so I think I even have to throttle down a bit because.
because we are not launching currently our um, supply and science return mission. Instead we are just launching a very, very uh, small satellite. Okay, now let's aim for Mars. We are aiming this time for the North Pole. Or not for the North Pole, but for a, p for a polar orbit. And I can separate from these stages, from these boosters. And we are going up. I like also to have a um, hopefully a very high orbit. I hope this thing is powerful enough to bring us into a very high orbit. But I think so, that we have enough power in this thing, because we have also launched the, the very heavy um, science return stage with the additional fuel tank, the huge fuel tank and so on. So I think this little tiny probe, which has only a very tiny little Oscar B fuel tank, tiny amount of fuel, and I've also added some RCS in the just in case that I maybe need some RCS to the orbit thing. Goodbye to the last boosters. So now we are only having this, this main engine, our skipper engine, and we are still accelerating nicely. This is very nice. And maybe, I'm not sure, about 500 kilometers or so, or 750 kilometers. I really like to have a quite high altitude, uh, but it is good then I need probably much more delta V to d orbit the thing. Uh -huh. I should have done some calculations, maybe. Oh no! I should aim a little bit in this direction because of the, the spin of the Earth, or uh, not Earth, because of the spin of Corbin. Okay, we are going up very nicely. Let's have a quick check here. Here is our orbit. It's rising, the apoapsis is rising nicely and we are getting our our prograde vector. Oh, 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 oh. Why are you so wobbly? We are getting this thing now in line. This is also nice, very good. Okay, this l is looking good. Uh, I like now to have just the numbers. Okay, like this. Very good. Let's shoot the thing up very high. Two hundred... Maybe four hundred kilometers might be enough. So like, like this or 414, also nice. Let's add here a maneuver node. Okay, can we already do our first first reading? Log gravity data. Log gravity data. Just above Kerbin's Highlands. Oh, we have just above and we have Ah, it's a different biome again. Interesting. Very interesting. So, let's keep this data. Maybe I just can... <laughs> I already can deorbit the thing once I've reached the... my orbit. Because uh, I've done almost every biome or so. Okay, uh, so I think I will scale the thing a bit down and don't overuse it. Let's just speed up things so we can come up to our high altitude. Oh, we are now over the, p the poles. I just need to um, look review which have I used at first. Review data. Okay, now I like to use this. Why high over Kerbin's ice caves? Okay, keep this. Very nice. So we have. One minute to go, 58 seconds. Um, now we are turning. This is okay. At first, let's say goodbye to to this thing. And now it's very distracting. In which direction is my my prograde vector? I think south. Is it? 
here. Here comes my... Oh, it's not so good to have the... The orbit insertion burn directly on top of the... The poles. That is really distracting. Uh, wow, but it's, it's looking really amazing, this high altitude above Corbin. I like this altitude. Well, okay, um... Maybe like this, let's... Let's throttle up at first. And... Let's have a stop right down. Oh, yes, okay, this is still okay. Now we need to separate. And we need to ignite the stage. And throttle it up. Okay, I like to have these these numbers. So it just need n it not it needs not to be a complete circular orbit, but at 400, yeah, uh, this is good enough. Maybe I can do he around here a little uh, retrograde burn and lower a bit my apoapsis. So I think this this is very good. Let's say here a new maneuver node. Okay, um... Wow, I, I, I like this. This look, this is really amazing and... I think it's a, it's a quite good polar orbit. It's looking really amazing, this is great. And I like the view from high above, this is, this is amazing. So let's speed up a bit things. Uh, are we now in a different biome? Let's have a check here. Uh, look, gravity, which have I used? I bet that's our oh, review. Review, okay. No, you are the next one. Over her Kerbin's grasslands. High space over Kerbin's grasslands. Uh, keep it. What was you? Review. Just over Kerbin. Oh, okay. That's another thing. And review. Ice caves, okay. Uh, very good. Let's speed up things. Where are we now? I think maybe these are highlands. Review data. Review. Review. Log. Log data. Kerbin's Mountains. Okay, keep it. I think I'm running out of... of readings before I'm even finished my complete insertion. So where we are here... What's this for a di biome? Log gravity data, Kerbin's grasslands. Okay, we already have this. And we are seven minutes away from our periapsis, so let's, let's turn around. Five, four, three, two, one have a break here. Okay, so where is my retrograde vector? I think it's pointing north. Like here. And goodbye. So I like to uh, enable this thing. Okay, let's do a very, very tiny burn. Four hundred four to four hundred three. So, a circular orbit, a circular polar orbit. This is amazing. Good job. Good job. Okay. So, um, what's next? Next is, uh, just to make sure that we are don't running into complications. The next thing is we want to decouple. Okay, and now. As usual in the in the um, real space world launches, the most uh, interesting thing is the deployment of the solar panels. So let's deploy our solar panels to keep our satellite alive. Okay, solar panels are deployed, and we are recharging energy. 
Very good, very good. So, as the satellite is running, let's just to to make it look look more interesting, let's extend our Yes, this is looking amazing. This is looking amazing. Now we have launched our satellite. Very good. And it's oh it's now time to not run into our satellite but to fly past it. Oh there's already the the south pole of Corbin. So there goes my satellite, the Polar One satellite. Logging gravity data. Okay, I think we are enough far away from our our station, our satellites. So now we can speed up things or do a burn. Oh, it's a uh, it's a lot of burn. I hope I my satellite has enough power to <laughs> to return if I want to deorbit the thing. Ah. Uh, no more nearby objects. Ah, this is this is sad. Well, let's do just in case a short quick save. And I hope no, not maneuver. No, I don't want to have a maneuver. I want to uh, pull a one. Oh, okay. Switch to. Okay, here is my satellite again. Very nice. Uh, at least if I'm not able to to deorbit this with this little amount of fuel, I hope I am. I still have my RCS, so I hope this RCS could at least help me to deorbit the thing. Um, where is Kerbin? Oh, we are currently approaching the South Pole. This is great. Uh, do we are in a different biome? Let's. Uh, I would like to mark somehow review data, log gravity data, Kerbin's waters. Okay, and the the text is almost every time the same. Let's keep it. This is great. This is great. And it's interesting how the the surface is going by. This is this is great. This I I really like this. This is this is amazing. Okay, uh, so yeah, satellite, let's maybe turn this this antenna a bit towards the surface, like this, okay, the solar panels are adjusting, this is great, this is great, and where are we now, um, log gravity data, Ice capes. We have already the ice capes, so let's reset this. Okay, very good. So now my satellite is running, is in space, and is sending back data. And uh, this is great. I really like this. This is this is amazing. I I like what I've done so far. This is cool. This is really cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, maybe. Are we coming across the deserts? I like to see this. Can we come across the deserts? Um, let's rotate. Speed up things. While we are watching this huge ball of Kerbin going by. Yes, we are coming across the deserts. This is amazing. And let's have a stop here. Turn the thing a little bit around. We like this. Very good. And um, lock gravity data. Kerbin's water. No. We're currently over Kerbin's water. When are we over the desert? hard to say. Wait, let's point the thing directly towards the surface. So this thing is I aiming currently at maybe the waters. Let's lock it. Kerbin straws. No, it's the straws. Well, let's keep the straws. This is also good. Uh, 
what do we have here? What is there? Now I like to have the desert. The desert, 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 desert. I should send a lot of satellites. Uh, it's hard to return the satellites, but I should send some some crewed missions up to the moon and to Minmus, especially the moon. Uh, Minmus, I have locked some data with um, the series. Uh, but the moon isn't unlocked currently, so so I think I should send a, a manned reconnaissance mission around the moon to to get some data there. I think this could be also very productive. Okay, my satellite. So lock gravity data. Yes, over Kervan's deserts. Very good. Keep it. Um, one and three. Review data. Review data. Review. 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 Look. Okay, I have only one. One thing missing. Huh. That was fast. I haven't expected that my that my satellite is running so fast out of of biomes I can lock. This is this is strange. Okay, let's let's maybe fly up here. Let's see if if this thing is counting as a different biome. I think it's still Kervin's grassland, although there are some 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 rivers. Kervin's grasslands. Okay, this isn't anything new. Um, what is maybe this up here? Let's fly up here. Uh Right now, let's have a stop. Lock gravity data. Kerbin's grasslands. Okay, still grasslands. Uh, is this may be a different biome. Let's have here a check. Lock gravity. Kerbin's highlands. Ah, uh, high space over Kerbin's highlands. Let's keep this at first. Uh, it's now hard to cycle through the information. Review. Kerbin's Highlands. Okay, keep it. Uh, review. Just above Kerbin's Highlands. Okay, it's a different biome. Uh, no, 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 no. Cancel. Uh, review. Kerbin's Ice Capes. Okay. Review. Kerbin's Grasslands. Review. Kerbin's Mountains. Uh, review. Kerbin's Water, Review, Kerbin's Shores, and Kerbin's Desert. Yes, Kerbin's Deserts. Okay. Ha, huh, okay. We have launched our satellite into a polar orbit, and we have already used all of its... of its science tools. Ha, huh, this, is, this is strange. But I really don't want to deorbit it right away. Uh, uh, well, we have now uh, a lot of science up in space and I really like to have the science, but on the other hand I really like also to have a satellite up here. So I think I will let keep the thing up in space and instead I think we are at the end of today's episode. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my satellite experience of Kerbal Space Program on Wings. And if you liked it, uh, please like, subscribe and comment on it. And I hope I see you again in the next episode when we... I don't know, when we do maybe some flight things, some aviation things or some satellite deorbit orbit things or some some progress with our Duna constellation. I'm not quite sure. We will figure this out. Until next time, my name is Zebi and let's have a great closing view of my satellite. Uh, not not really possible. Um, yeah, see you!